Hey guys and welcome to this replay. I'm playing the OI here and we're on Sand River in a tier 8 match actually. We're bottom tier so yeah we've got our work cut out for us. And it will take some time to get to that work because the OI is very very slow. Um, however for that slowness you get a nice derp gun which is uh, very similar to the one on the KV-2. I think it's got slightly better HE pan. Uh, but I think uh, it, to all intents and purposes uh, it's pretty much the same gun. Um, though I get slightly more armor than the KV-2 while the KV-2 gets more speed. Now that KV-2 is probably not fully upgraded because he's almost even slower than me. Um, but generally the KV-2 is a little bit more mobile. Um, I'm taking the long way around here um, because as you can see the of the wide view range circle is basically the maximum spotting range of any tank. Um, and I'm making sure to stay outside of the maximum spotting range of the middle because when I'm in a light tank I actually like to go up uh, in the position where the Type 62 was last spotted and basically just spot all the stupid heavies driving uh, over the middle of the field um, so I'm taking care to not do that and I'm actually going to the left side of this map and I never do that um, because basically I almost never play heavy tanks um, at least not heavily armored heavy tanks so uh, there's rarely a need for me to actually go to that position because the problem with the position that Murphy over there is in um, if the enemy has any brains they would send someone to G6 and they can uh, spot you shoot you in the side if you pull too far back so you basically get shot from the front and shot from the side all the time which is really annoying um, but it seems the enemy doesn't really have a brain, so we can sort of safely go here. And the beauty about the OI for me is that I don't have six cents, so I'm never spotted. Um, I fired that shot at the IS, fully aimed, and you saw it go somewhere up, up on the mountain. So that's one of the disadvantages of the derp gun on the OI. Um, it's not the derp gun on the KV-2, so you can't actually properly snipe with it too much. Uh, although, having said that, uh, that will change slightly later on in the match um, as for my crew um, I've nearly got the first perk at 100% um, but on the radio operator I've got an extra perk I don't know why I don't know which crew I scavenge for that but for some reason he's got a, um, nearly two perks so on, on him I've actually got the extended view range perk as well um, so I've got quite a nice view range in this tank, which uh, definitely helps. Um, we don't really see much enemies, and now we see this T-34-100, and I thought of shooting here, but he's uh, nice enough to actually not move too much. We actually shoot him and set him on fire, so that's a casual 1100 damage there. Um, I did not see that coming, that was a really, really tasty shot. And here we've got a Yak Panther, and maybe we're in time to actually put a shot into him as well. So, I start aiming, he reverses back, and then we snap into his side. But the Yak Panther, unfortunately, slightly more armor, so we only do 300 damage. I'm uh, taking care to stay relatively safe. Yak Panther shoots another time, and I'm just hoping my reload is fast enough. Um... The beauty about these howitzers is that you can aim shots over hills because the, the shell velocity is really low so the shot basically curves, it goes up and then drops down again. So you can actually shoot over hills as long as you can still get part of your reticle on the enemy. You can just lob over a hill if you're lucky. So yeah, we managed to, um, to do, uh, do some damage and now I'm saying to my team to stop dying because the they're just taking useless risks and uh, the Thunderbolt is actually doing quite a lot there and he, luckily he got taken out which is quite good uh, because he was being very very annoying so yeah slow and steady wins the race this thing is absolutely absolutely slow and um, I was playing it actually because now this weekend that I played this match the tier 7s were on discount and I was very close to the Oni so I actually uh, I played the OI a bit more because normally I play this thing like once a month um, if I feel like it uh, but I was only 5k away from the Oni so I was like yeah I'll play it uh, a couple of matches and I think I got the 5k XP in 2 or 3 matches 
uh, including this one so yeah managed to get it so now we obviously got spotted because the guy started shooting at me Artie uh, instantly shoot this way so I'm just keeping the keeping pushing on and this is a mistake that I see a lot of OI drivers make for instance if they're spotted they stop and they try to hide but that's that you will certainly get killed that way what you need to do is just keep on driving and try and angle your tank a little bit so you're a harder target to pan but whatever you do don't stop if you're spotted and uh, being shot at just keep driving try to make use of your armor it is effective at long range even these uh, lower tier tanks um, just make sure that you don't present a flat target to the enemy I'm obviously still spotted but no one else is shooting so I'm thinking hmm, hmm probably the TD that's spotting me I haven't been shot by the ISU so I know it's certainly not him because he can penetrate me and there we go T25-2 is stupid enough to fire and we just carefully aim shoot him into his turret for 382 damage and keep on driving don't stop here Artie is aiming at me and we don't want to take any more damage apart obviously from Artie because Artie completely ignores armor uh, so we take nearly 400 damage Artie uh, or nearly 400 Artie damage Artie is now spotted I just keep on driving T25 for some reason after dinging six times thinks he can magically penetrate me now so not happening I'm sticking to the low ground though uh, because I want this light tank to actually take care of the arty, um, because that guy was really annoying. But they managed to kill each other both. So yeah, um, at least the arty's cleaned up. So I'm not too worried about the T25 too. Um, the ISU is a problem, but he seems occupied with someone else, and I'm just slowly, steadily creeping closer. I mean, uh, this is one of uh, one of these tanks where you can actually. Uh, read a book, watch a film while you're playing it before you actually get anywhere. Um, I'm telling my team to not suicide, uh, they need to stop, go in, and this T25-2 seems to have completely forgotten about me for some reason, so I can't get the gun depression, so s slowly aim, shoot him in the turret. I, d I don't know what he was thinking, that I would go away or not come in, I, I really don't know. I guess he gave up because he couldn't pan me, but yeah, that, that doesn't make the problem go away. That just makes you ignore the problem. Now we've got this ISU. And I think, uh, I thought here, oh, he's going behind that hill. I can never hit him, but he just nicely stands there. And I got another 540 damage. So yeah, not a bad match. Let's take a look at the results. So even though most of the time of that match was spent trying to even get to the battlefield, we managed to get an ace tanker badge and a high caliber badge. Managed to do quite a lot of module damage on these guys as well, especially the T25-2. He was not too happy. Um, managed to get top XP and top damage in a tier 8 match, which is never bad. Managed to almost hit 3k damage and 3 kill. Kills? Kill. 3 kill. Um, the enemy... ISU almost scored enough uh, damage to match mine, but all in all, the both teams were sort of a bit mad. ISU does actually did quite a good job, and the Poodle did a lot of spotting. Um, so yeah, 2.9k uh, damage of my dam bleh, damage on myself. Uh, damage block 720, not too much actually, um, but the big damage actually came from Artie. Uh, 44k income, 37 profit, which is not too shabby. So yeah. I quite like this, this was one of the last matches I played in the OI and it was an ace tanker so that's always nice. Um, I will retrain my crew to the ONI as soon as the crew retrain retraining comes on discount. I hope it will be this Gamescon special weekend actually finally because I've been waiting for crew retraining for quite a while now. I've got I've bought back the Tiger P to go to the VK line actually. Uh, so I need to train crew for that. I've got uh, the ONI now that needs crew and I think I've got one or two more tanks actually that need crew so yeah let's hope they put it on sale anytime soon uh, but yeah hope you enjoyed the replay if you did feel free to rate it subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time